Hello, my name is Tatum with Black Bear Outdoors in Loomis, California. And what we're going to be talking about today is what to do with your worm compost that we've been talking about. You know, we sell the red wigglers at, at Black Bear Outdoors. And we're going to talk about what to do with them. Since we get a small amount of compost from them, we want to make it stretch as far as we can. And the easiest way to do that is with worm compost tea. And we're actually going to be brewing some tea today. There's a couple different ways we do it. But this way, we've actually got from a friend of ours, Taylor at Foothill Hydro Garden in Penryn, California. He's come up with this recipe, and we're basically going to reproduce it for ourselves at home. He makes it in big batches, so if you want to buy a big batch of it just yourself in the gallon form, he does sell it that way if you want to hit him up. Or you can make your own tea at home, and he sells the products all at the shop. The uh, first thing we're going to be using is compost from our garden. And down on the, we're going to use about a cup of compost, which is all this nice stuff up here that's all breaking down. And we've been sitting in our compost bin for a few months now. And then on the bottom is our worm, uh, worm compost, what's come out of our worm bin. You can't really see that real well. It's just on the bottom, and I use about a half. I use a cup of each. Now we also use a cup of humus. The humus is mined from the earth. Comes this a real nice black color to it, and it's just great. Really finely broke down. Works great, and just that alone would be awesome. But we're gonna mix it with our worms. Again, you can get this at Foothill Hydro Garden. We're gonna be using our black strap molasses unsulfured which is great again something you can get there and we're going to use a tablespoon of maxi crop and this is a product made from seaweed as you can see here just to kind of seaweed flakes if you can get in there which is a real nice product and just very little of each so we're going to take and we're going to use a tablespoon of the maxi crop. It's very powerful stuff. I'm going to mix that in. And then we are going to put just a hair of our black, slap, black strap molasses in, just right around a teaspoon. So just very little. This again, very powerful stuff and doesn't take much to get its job done. So just that, but that will give you that. Both those products together give a great, great for your tomatoes, great for any annual type plants, things that are going to grow and die off. So this mixture works great for that. Now where we're going to put it all in is there's lots of tea bags you can buy out on the market. I recommend these. These work really great. They're one gallon paint sifters. So you can get these at the store. Pay about $3 for two of them at Lowe's or any of your stores should have them in your paint stores. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pour our compost in there. We're going to pour our humus and our seaweed mixture in there. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually brewing compost tea, so we're going to use aeration. We have a little mixture of two little aerators here on each end. We stick that. I like to stick that all the way as far as I can to the bottom of the bag. And then this is the biggest trick I rec you have to get, is you got to get your bag as tight as possible. So this guy, you want to get all the way to the bottom. And then you want to make sure that your bag is cinched up as tight as you can get it. And I use a zip tie. You can tie it or whatever you'd like to do. But I like the zip tie. Works really good. What this is great for, you don't have to put it in a tea bag. But what it helps is if you're using a tea bag it's better for spraying, which we recommend. You can pour this directly on your crops, but we like it for spraying like this. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and set that in there. We want it to sink down to about halfway. With the aerator in it, it stays about halfway. Now, this just isn't any water. 
This is a water that we really, really like. We get it out of our ponds and out of our fish tanks. This is actually a 50-50 blend of a fish tank blend. Make sure you've checked your water to make sure it's all healthy. You checked your pH and you can get the little test strips. Um, down at Aqua Life in Loomis, which are in Rockland, is great. They have this little test strips you can just stick in your water and test to make sure everything's proper. It's good for fish. It's good for our compost tea. Now, one other thing I really recommend is getting these guys. They're aerators that pull from the top. They work great. They sell them for about $4, a little under $4 at Foothill Hydro Garden. I like them a 10 times better than the ones you get at like Walmart and some of the other places. They don't have enough weight to stay down. What we're going to do is we're going to take, now we have four, three pumps going, which technically is probably a little overkill for what we need, but I really like the way it works, and I actually stick them on all four sides, all the way around, and stick my bag in the middle. Now again, buy a good quality pump. They don't cost any more. Again, you'll see here I've got about three different pumps. Some I got it at fish stores. And one I got here at Foothill Hydro Garden. This pump, this pump, both the same price, twice as powerful on the big one. So I'm a really big fan of theirs. Now once you've got this started, we're going to go ahead and plug her in. And you're going to see everything start coming to life. And you'll notice that one side's bubbling really good. That's the side where we got the pump from Foothill Hydro Garden. And our guy here, that's our actual tea bag, we're going to set here and kind of tie it off to the side. And it will just float right there because the aerator inside. Now once you've let this brew, we're going to let this brew all the way tonight. It's nighttime here now. We're going to brew it all the way about... 12 to 15 hours so we'll brew it it's quite late at night and we're going to go all the way through tomorrow we want it about that 70 to 65 to 72 degrees is where it works best so it's still fairly warm out and we're in good shape here what we're going to do is after that happens after about a 15 16 hours of time we're going to pull the bag completely out and run it for another 12 to 15 hours so we want to put this on in the morning when our plants have opened all back up and we're just going to put it in a sprayer. You can buy the little hand sprayers. Buy a good quality one. One that will handle some debris. And I found it's a little easier to chop off your hose on your sprayer just a little short of the bottom. And that really helps it so it actually doesn't pick up all the junk that you get sometimes with a compost tea. Now if you've got nylons and things like that, you can re- um, filter the bags also, but I found that this mixture, even though it turns fairly dark right away, it actually works just fine in my sprayer. So I spray all my plants. I get usually about three or four loads. I actually go to my grandmother's house and friends' houses and we pass it around. And what it does is it takes that small amount of compost we get out of our worms and turns it into enough to do, this five gallons will do about an acre of spraying. So you can do you know, grass it does really good with and everything else. And we've mixed a little bit of the seaweed and things like that in, which are really great. All right, and that's, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up, and we'd love to chat with you. So uh, hit us up and also hit up Foothill Hydro Garden. So they've got a lot of great stuff there and a lot of advice. Have a great day.